Hey guys, my name is Hazem. Hazem Faraz hosts a satellite TV program for Muslims called Reflections. He says he hears from Muslims all the time who tell him they had a dream or vision of Jesus Christ that forever changed their lives. I had one lady write me and said I had had a nightmare and she said I turned on the television and there you were. And she said, and the words that were coming out of your mouth were so peaceful, I fell asleep. And she said, and when I fell asleep, I ended up having a vision of Jesus. She said, I saw the Lord. She wasn't a believer. She said, I saw the Lord Jesus, and He was in a, in a bright white robe. He pointed and pointed to a man who I knew in the dream was Abraham, and he was sacrificing Isaac. And she said, as soon as I had looked over, I had known that Jesus was the Christ, sacrificed the Son of God. Across the Muslim world, from Indonesia to Morocco, Muslim men and women are turning to faith in Jesus Christ in unprecedented numbers. For many, their conversions are not simply the result of missionaries or preachers sharing the gospel with them. Instead, these Muslims are coming to Christ because they've had dreams and visions where Jesus himself appears to them. Ali also met Jesus in a dream while on his way to Mecca for the Muslim pilgrimage called the Hajj. Of course, when I went to Mecca, I was going there in order to pay homage to the Kaaba and to fulfill the requirements in Islam. Ali's experience in Mecca is dramatized in this DVD called More Than Dreams. But that night, I saw Jesus in a dream. First, Jesus touched my forehead with his finger. And after touching me, he said, you belong to me. And then he touched me above my heart. You have been saved. Follow me. You belong to me, he said. So I decided, okay, I'm not going to finish the Hajj, the pilgrimage. Whatever it takes, I am going to follow that voice. The DVD tells of other Muslims who came to faith in Jesus through a dream or vision. We're seeing that all around. We're hearing about people that have never even thought about Jesus as Savior. They're content Muslims and they're having dreams over and over. Tom Doyle serves in E3 Ministries. He and his wife Joanne share the gospel with Muslims. Doyle also wrote the recently released book, Dreams and Visions, Is Jesus Awakening the Muslim World? I think our God is a fair God. He's righteous and just. People are seeking. They don't know where to go. Maybe they don't have a Bible. Maybe there's no missionary in the village. He'll get the message to him somehow. This woman comes from a Central Asian country. Her identity is hidden for security reasons. In the church, if you ask how many people, how people came to Christ, 80% will say they saw him in a dream. A Christian friend challenged this woman to ask God to speak to her personally. So I decided to, to ask him, and so I did. And then um, the next day, I guess, I saw a dream, and I saw in my dream, I saw Jesus was a bridge, I decided to come to him. Doyle says the dream or vision is usually the start, not the end of a Muslim's conversion. You know, nobody goes to sleep, Chris, a, a Muslim and wakes up a Christian, but it knocks down the false barriers that are inherent in Islam. A couple of them are that we worship three gods, uh, that the Bible's corrupted. The Doyles say compared to the political storm sweeping the Middle East, this could be seen as a spiritual earthquake. You know what, as things heat up politically and spiritually within Islam, man, the Holy Spirit's moving even more powerfully. This is the time when hearts are open, people are desperate, governments are changing, everybody's foundation has massive cracks in it, and Jesus is the answer that can come in and fill that need. Many veteran missionaries say these dreams and visions combined with satellite television are reaching Muslims in unprecedented numbers. They say more Muslims are coming to Jesus Christ than at any other time in the 1,400-year history of Islam. The Doyles say believers in the West can join the spiritual revolution. So yes, I think that, you know, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. And, um, you know, we are committed, all of us as believers, we've got to reach those with the gospel of Christ. Not everybody's going to go to the Middle East, but they can pray. And no government, no leader can block intercession around the world. That's one thing that can get into any country. So we need to pray as believers that God would continue to just push the gospel out to the ends of the earth. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem.